All right, we're going to continue doing two-step equations. Now our problems are going to look like this, where you have to combine like terms before you solve. So you look, you have 2x and x. So we have to combine those. Remember, you add or subtract the numbers in front. Okay, x, remember, it's an understood one. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have 3x minus 27 is equal to 3. Then you solve it just like normal. You see that 3 times x minus 27, so you add 27 first. Like I said yesterday, most of the time you will add and subtract before you multiply and divide. Uh, today is going to change that, though. We're going to do a couple problems where you do the opposite. Uh, so here you have 3x. Over here you have 30. We divide by 3. x must equal 10. Yeah, you are required to show your work. You're also required to check your work. So plug 10 in for x. 2 times 10 is 20, plus 10 is 30. 30 minus 27 is 3, so x must equal 10. Any questions on how to do that? Now you will have to do that a few times where you combine like terms before you can actually solve it. All right, we have 40 minus 77 is equal to y divided by 5 plus 2.4y plus y divided by 10. Now, what I want to do, okay, I want to combine like terms, but I can't do that until I get them to where they're all the same fractions because these are unlike fractions and we can't add unlike fractions. What I want to do, my goal, is to get rid of the fractions. And I do that by timesing everything by the same number that will get rid of these fractions. Now, if we had a problem like this, where it was y divided by 5 equals 10, what would I do? I would times by 5, wouldn't, wouldn't I? i get rid of that. Let's say I have a problem where it's y divided by 10. What would I do? I would times by 10. I do the opposite of dividing, right? So what do you think I do? To get rid of the five over here and the five or the the five right here and the ten right there. I'm going to times it. What would be a number that would get rid of a five and a ten at the same time? Ten. Five would not. Because you have if you have five right here, okay, you would get rid of the five, but you'd still be left with two. We're trying to get rid of the denominator, right? So can I div times by five? No. What do I have to times by? 10. ten. My biggest number. When I times by 10, what I have to do is I have to distribute it out. This times this, 10 times this, and 10 times that. Okay? What I do to one side, I also have to do the other, right? Which times by 10 is awesome because all you do is move the decimal one time. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it out the way you should. Y plus 5 times 10. 2.4Y times 10. And then Y over 10 times 10. Okay? Now we go through and we work out what we can. I have Y divided by 5 times 10. What would cancel? The 5, right? Did I get rid of the denominator? Yes, I did. Okay? What's 2 times y? 2y. 10 times 2.4, right? We just moved the decimal one time, so that becomes 24y. And then what about y divided by 10 times 10? What happens? Tens would cancel, right? So what am I left with? Why? Over here I've got 40 or 407.7. Now what do I do? When I can combine like terms, 2 plus 24 plus 1, that gives me 27y. Over here we have 407.7. So then we divide by 27. 407.7 divided by 27 is 15.1.
And that's my answer. Okay? Yes, it was a lot of steps. Yes, it was a lot of working out. But was there anything that was hard about that? Yeah. No. Was there anything that we haven't done before? No. Okay, we've done every single step before. We just haven't combined them all. Now we are. That's the whole thing of math. Combine what you know. Okay? So all we do is we times each of those by 10. We distribute it out. Cancel because we want to get rid of the fractions. Getting rid of the fractions allows us to work it out, doesn't it? Yeah. Write this down. All right, you look at a problem like this. You read it to yourself. We have 3x plus 5 divided by 2 equals 7. You have to think in terms of order operations. What would I do first? I would times by 3, I would add 5, and then I'd do what? Divide that by 2. Now remember, when we're solving these, we have to do what? We have to go in the opposite order of that, right? The reverse order, doing the opposite. So what was the last thing we would do to x? Divide by 2. So what's the first thing we do? Multiply by 2, the opposite. To undo division, we multiply. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So we have 3x plus 5 is equal to 14. Do I know how to do this? Have I seen problems like this before? Yes. Okay. Now, like I said, we've been doing it where you add and subtract before you multiply and divide. But now you got to look at order operations and see what's the last thing I would do and then start with it first. Undo it first. Okay, go ahead and solve this and I'll come by and check your answer. We would subtract 5 first because if I look at order operations, I added or I times by 3 and then I added 5. So I go in reverse order. So I subtract 5 to both sides. 14 minus 5 is 9. 3x equals 9, so I divide by 3, x must equal 3. Here's your homework. 